Kevin Inouye here from Fight Designer LLC with uh, just a couple of uh, quick answers to questions that have come up about some of these shell ejecting prop guns. Um, one of the big concerns is just that in order to get these, we're having to order from new suppliers we don't know. These are almost all coming out of China um, and a lot of their standard, you know, airsoft shops and things like that don't have them yet. This is even just like the gel blasters, it's kind of a new thing still. So we're still figuring out who's got them, uh, who's legit and who's a scam. <clears throat> and what can get through customs and, you know, will I actually get what I ordered? So here's just a quick rundown of some of the ones that I have personally tried out. Um, your mileage may vary, and I'd, I'd love to hear where you get stuff as well. So I'm going to start with one that probably pops up in a lot of folks' social media feeds, and that is Temo. Temo is uh, trying to be the, the next Wish, I guess. Wish has kind of had its moment gone, but it's a similar idea of just, like, cheap stuff imported direct from China, and often sold at first at a loss in the hopes that they can corner the market. Um, and they have some of these kinds of things. You know, these are the, the cheaper ones. Um, the the Glocks, especially if you see the Glock 18 style switch um, on these plastic shell ejecting ones. These are the cheaper ones where it's like you can't rack the slide really without breaking it. Um, they, they shoot the little pellets. Um, you know, and they have a bunch of them that also that are other styles. Um, but generally not correct proportions and weird like pasted on as an afterthought tack rails that, that aren't actually built in the way they would be in the real one. So they're not great. But, you know, I will say Temu does pretty fast shipping for what it is. Um, you, you can get, uh, the current policy at least, is a refund on one item per order. So when I'm not sure about something, if I order other stuff and that one thing, uh, if it turns out being like, oh, this is not at all how it looked in the pictures or how it was described, They'll give me a refund, I don't have to mail it back, anything like that. Um, so that's been nice, you know, nice low stakes way to, to see what some of these things are like on the cheaper end of the scale. But the, the place where I first started getting some of the nicer ones, uh, that, that Hellcat, for example, that I reviewed earlier, um, is Tanya Toys. Um, and Tanya Toys has also been pretty reliable. Um, it's a little slower in the shipping, but you can get some of these nicer items. These are the, you know, just as a compare and contrast, this is a Glock that is not the weird pseudo Glock 18, but actually has the proper Glock 17 Gen 4 markings. Um, this is one of those laser shell ejecting ones. Um, so it still does the, the shell ejection function. Let me put a box up here that'll catch it. Oh, and I missed the box still. But let's try again. There we go. All right. So yes, still a spring blowback shell ejecting. Um, these are going to cost a little bit more. Uh, you know, this is going to be more in the like $70 range as opposed to the, you know, 12 to $25 range you might find for the, the cheaper ones uh, that aren't the laser version. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it's going to hold up much better for film work. Um, and I will say, uh, Tony, both Tony Toys and the other one where I got some of these, uh, Zhendu Blaster, both of those have been legit in that it might take a while, but they do give you tracking info eventually. If Customs does see something, and this happened once, Customs just like, I guess, never released it or something. It just was stuck in LA for three weeks, or whatever. Uh, and they, they eventually gave me a refund. Um, so, so both Tony Toys and Sandu Blaster have been legit in terms of if you don't get the product that you ordered, they will give you your money back eventually. Um, and you, know, you can't ask for more than that, right? A lot of this is out of their, out of their hands. Um, <clears throat> there are other sites like that that I've wondered about, that I've looked on Reddit, and it's like, is this a scam? Some people say, yes, I never got what I ordered. Some people said, oh, I got mine fine, it just took a while. Uh, M416, M416GelBlasters.com has uh, an electric blowback Tech 9 I've been kind of curious about. Um, you know, there's, there's some other sites out there. Now, in addition to these straight-up retailers, there's also other options, such as, for example, AliExpress is basically like the the non-North American version of eBay. Um, so they'll have different sellers within there and just kind of host that. Um, they have some of the cheaper ones as well, but not a whole lot. Um, the, the times that I've checked it, it hasn't really offered any advantage over the other things already mentioned. Um, DH Gate is an interesting one because that's basically a drop shipper, which is uh, sort of a drop shipping clearance house, kind of kind of like an eBay marketplace thing. but. It's companies that just are sort of the middlemen, and they'll be like, oh, great, you want one of those? I'll buy it here, I'll drop it in the post there, boom. That one I've had a little more of an issue with. Um, and again, it's a different seller, so it's going to be hit or miss. Uh, but DHgate itself does have a mechanism, supposedly, for guaranteeing things. I tried some things there. I have not gotten any of them yet. One of them, 
they said, oh, we can't ship this to the U.S., which is interesting because I've already gotten one of them from someone else who shipped it to the U.S. So it is possible, but that seller said, no, our, our uh, shipper that we use has said we're not allowed to do that. I guess they had too many that got seized by customs or something. Um, another one initially said, oh, we don't think we can, but then I've got a tracking information from them, so maybe. Um, uh, the one they said they couldn't ship, they gave me a refund, so that's good. Uh, there's two that are still maybe on things that I've ordered there, and they're, they're not all prop guns, but, um, so, you know, that's, that's also going to be hit or miss, because, again, you've got sellers, but anytime you can, um, it's best to use an intermediary that you trust, and that's financially especially, because you don't want your credit card info getting out in the wrong places. So if you're using one of these other sellers, if you can pay via PayPal or Apple Pay or a credit card that you know and trust that company, so that if there's a dispute, you have someone else to go through to get your money back. You know, that's the thing about places like eBay is if the seller flakes out, if there's an issue, eBay will usually help facilitate a refund. It doesn't always come out on your side, but usually it does as a buyer and it's, it's, uh, it's better than nothing. <clears throat> um, so if you have a legit company as an intermediary that you can go to and say, stop payment on that, or hey, this was a fraud and I never got that, can I get my thing back? If nothing else, if you go through something like PayPal or Venmo or whatever, you haven't given them directly your financial information. So there's, if it is a scam, there's less they can take from that scam. <laughs> so there is always going to be some risk involved. And that, of course, means that the other option is just to wait until some of these are available domestically, whether you're in the U.S. or wherever. Um, or rent them from someone else who's already bought them, like me at Fight Designer LLC. Um, so you got options. But uh, I would love to hear where you're buying stuff, if you're buying some of these, uh, how it's gone for you, if you've had good or bad experiences. Let me know. Because there's, there's this whole category of stuff that uh, isn't, often isn't airsoft, and so the main airsoft suppliers haven't brought it in, or the paintball suppliers haven't brought it in. And there isn't really an infrastructure of places that do this yet, in the Western world, most of that seems to be in Asia. So, uh, yeah, let me know what tips you got. Share. Let's all uh, let's all benefit from each other's vicarious experience. Thanks. Till next time, Kevin Noe. Check out the Fight Designer channel as well as the YouTube channel. I put things on both, and uh, I'll see you next time.